Hi hello welcome to Bell English this is an opportunity provided by a canadian based company located in ontario so it's completely a supervisor job clerical supervisor job and you will be paid with an approximate salary of 24 dollars per hour the work duration would be 37.5 hours per week and it's a permanent job under full time employment so before we get into the details of this particular job postings if you are new to the channel please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button next to it so that you'll receive regular video updates on a daily basis so now this opening is being posted by the uh, employer called travel long brace bridge so the travel long brace bridge is actually located in brace bridge ontario and they are looking for someone as a clerical supervisor for their uh, facilities across different parts of ontario and they do have motels hotels and uh, different kind of uh, uh, resorts where they want someone to supervise the clerical uh, employees for, of them so the work duration would be approximately 37.5 hours per week and the terms of employment of course it's permanent as you know permanent employment uh, means you are entitled to have all the benefits of a permanent employee in canada so you'll be treated as a canadian permanent employee so and all the labor benefits such as health benefits retirement benefits and other family coverage benefits would be entitled for you and this employer is looking for someone who can join them immediately since the start date is start as soon as possible and most importantly he has already applied in lmia so lmia as you know he has actually showcased that this particular skill is in shortage and he can recruit the foreign employees so he can take the foreigners for this particular job though he is encouraging the canadians and permanent residents for applying this job he is in taking the actual foreigners so foreigners are eligible to apply for this job and the job requirement is language english so you are supposed to have a good command over the language you should have proper fluency in communicating and understanding english and the education he has mentioned is secondary school so you should have a high school uh, graduation and even if you don't possess it a suitable experience would be considered as your skill set in order to recruit so your experience is less than 2 years so anything between 1 to 2 years is preferable the skills required for this particular job is to coordinate assign and review the work assigned to the clerk so you have to coordinate the work assigned and then uh, uh, you have to in fact like assign the work and then to coordinate with people and then to review what has been completed so assist the clients or guests with special needs so depending on the requirements of your customers or clients you are supposed to assist them accordingly and requisition materials and supplies you are supposed to have being a supervisor you have to be in a position to understand the requirements and requisitions of materials and supplies to be made on an appropriate time establish work schedules and procedures and coordinate activities with work units or departments so you have to sh like create a schedule and you have to establish it among the uh, workers and then the procedures has to be ensured that they, they have following or adhering to that procedures whichever is being established by you and coordinate the activities with the work units the other units which are working concurrently with you you are supposed to coordinate with them and probably the other department departments as well so it's it's uh, it's like working hand in hand with further departments so several departments would be part of an entire organization where you'll be interacting with each and every department to make sure that your clients are served the best so resolve work related problems and prepare and submit progress and other reports so you have to resolve the work related issues concerns and queries arising from different audience and different uh, participants and prepare and submit progress and other reports so you have to submit the reports to the management in specific to the progress and the actual status of the entire operation so hire and train staff in job duties safety procedures and company policies you have to hire people then you have to train them and you have to uh, train them in safety procedures and the company policies in specific so ensure smooth operations of computer systems equipments 
machinery and arrange for maintenance and repair so it's it's end to end managing so as we were discussing supervisor is someone who manages the entire thing and you have to look into the computer systems equipments and machineries which are on the facility and you have to make sure you maintain them appropriately and with appropriate repair work properly uh, bringing in people to attend the compliance and make sure they are uh, made with proper care whenever uh, something arises it, it shouldn't be like whenever something arises you have to go and attend it it should be like a periodical maintenance kind of thing which you have to schedule so the work setting would be probably like motels resorts or hotel anywhere that could be and the work condition and physical capabilities required is fast paced environment as you know people would continuously walk into any restaurants or hotels motels and these resorts so you are supposed to ha handle both the uh, walk in customers and the people who are booking in advance so you should be adaptable for this fast paced environment and working under pressure of course as a supervisor you'll have definitely lot of pressures to manage clerks working in any uh, facility would definitely be a challenging aspect where you'll have to think and do lot of things you know the supervisor is someone who is responsible for the performance of the entire facility as well so you should be working under the pressure and no job is without pressure so it's it's obvious that the amount which is paid for you is equivalent to the amount of pressure you receive so that's how the work condition would be so attention to details so you should be attentive to the details and you, since it's a customer based industry you have to have that skill to listen to the customer listen to what they have been explaining and bringing it to you only then you'll be able to give them an appropriate and a suitable solution so standing for external period so extended period sorry so standing for an extended period is something which is required in any uh, like hotel or motel atmosphere over time is required that depends like entirely operations might get wind up early but if the people falls in being a hotel industry definitely you'll have a lot of overtimes and of course you'll be paid accordingly so ability to supervise at least 3 to 4 people so you'll be given with certain number of people to be managed you'll you should be in a position to manage them so that would probably like 3 to 4 people so you should have that ability to supervise them so the personal suitability mentioned here are you have to be a initiative person you should bring initiatives you should initiate yourself with lot of inputs in order to develop uh, improvise the actual services provided or the performance or in specific to any kind of implementation you have to be initiative an effective interpersonal skill you should possess effective interpersonal skill only then you will be have able to maneuver with resources and people around you flexibility of course that's required from any employee by an employer so you have to be more and more flexible and you know the more you are flexible the more you are going to just climb up your uh, career ladder accurate so you have to be accurate enough because you are going to project the informations performance uh, uh, like the issues concerns and other uh, uh, overall uh, view of the entire operations when that comes into place you have to be more and more accurate enough in projecting them appropriately to the management so team player of course because you are going to work with other teams and other members across you other departments so you have to be a team player definitely here so excellent oral and written communication as we were discussing the required languages english you should have a excellent oral and written communication besides understanding skill as well so you should be in a position to uh, like master the actual language to understand what people are trying to bring it to you and to narrate them what you are your thought about your thoughts and to resolve issues and to write up things you should know the written communication so you should be fluent enough and having excellent skill on these language abilities and client focused since it's service sector you are supposed to be client focused definitely that's required more here the interpersonal awareness as interpersonal skill would actually have this awareness as well you should be agile in order to go with these uh, abilities so you have to make sure that you are trying to implement them on your uh, work grounds 
so dependability you have to be a dependable person if something is trusted interested on you you are supposed to take it further without any monitoring so you have to be a person with integrity judgment and organized so you should have that sort of judgment to make uh, the then and there decisions most of the time the hotel and service industries would have more mainly these uh, then and there decisions which happens it's a kind of tactic which you implement in order to impress the customer and to make sure the customer are satisfied enough and in, in, to go beyond that one step you are supposed to try to delight the client rather than satisfying a client and you should be judgmental and you should have that judgment to do that decision like analytical based decision at the at the ready, very moment and then organized you have to be an organized person in order to organize and assign something to the person as soon as you climb up the ladder in order to supervise someone you should be in a position to organized and you should be in a position to provide them something so unless you are organized so despite however you have uh, qualifications or how much of experience you've got you have to be an organized person only then you'll be able to implement things among other people who are your subordinates or whom you are actually supervising so you should be well organized and this employer is actually uh, supporting the newcomers to canada and youth support youth groups so as he is recruiting the foreigners he is still welcoming people who are coming new to canada as well so uh, application yeah how to apply you have to apply through email write in a detailed email with the uh, re your updated resume and uh, the cover letter so do not forget to miss your cover letter so i've given the email address through a web reference website on the below description box so access through the below description where you will be given with the reference link for job application you can access that website the same link would be provided there where you'll have email address to send in your updated resume along with the cover letter so make sure you attach your cover letter and the resume and if you have any other portfolios to showcase your ability and your skill sets you can always do that as well so i hope i have given enough information about this job posting if you got any questions or queries please feel free to reach me through the comment section let me know on that i'll be assisting you over there so you like if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it with your friends definitely that will be of helpful for them during the standard times so subscribe to the channel support the channel uh, we'll see you soon with another interesting job posting so take care guys bye bye